again. I know I just had a book haul, but all these packages I ended up getting this week and last week on like Friday. So yeah, they accumulated and I also went to the Kelly Armstrong signing and I got some swag there. So these are just um, for her Sea of Shadows and then there's a couple of bookmarks here. Oh, some of them are upside down. So right there and I'm going to be doing an ARC giveaway on Twitter for this and a tote bag that was there as well for the first 50 people who came. So this one giveaway will be on Twitter and it'll only be on Canada only. So sorry you guys, I can't ship very far because it's very expensive to ship in Canada. So let's start. I have these packages and then I have another package here. Um, these are from Book Depository and then I bought some at the signing. Since it was Kelly Armstrong's signing, I had to get one of her books, Bidden. And this is her adult um, books, which turned into a TV show on Space Channel. So right there. And this one is signed. It was so fun to see her. I ended up deleting my memo, my voice memo, so I don't know what I'm going to write for my recap. So that there you go. And she's always so nice and it's always so fun to go to her signings. If you guys get a chance to support her, she's awesome and she's Canadian. So yay. And I forgot to include this last week, but I did buy this one, 1984, George Orwell. This is this gorgeous, um, I believe Arcus copy, Arcus Ar Arturus. No. Arturus. I don't know how to pronounce it. But this is the version right there. And it was in the bargain section for about $6.99, I believe. So, oh, love it. I think I might have to find all the other versions of this one. It is so pretty. And it's like a different kind of... It's not cloth bound. It's kind of like velvety. It's... I don't know the material, but it's really pretty. And then... Book depository. I don't know why it's all like singular, but let's see what I open. I I think I bought this like long time ago when I broke my band. So um, let's see what's in the first package. And of course, I forgot my scissors again. Whatever. I'm so not prepared. Oh. Okay, these covers are gorgeous. And the reason I got these covers, because where the US covers were ugly. So I went in with the UK, and this is Maria V. Snyder's A Touch of Power trilogy. And I've just been hearing so many amazing things about this one, so I just had to get it. And then the next one, if you guys can guess, it's from the same series. Oh, I'm so excited to see. Pretty. It is so pretty. Oh my god. This is a taste of darkness. I don't know which one is which, but I believe this one is the first one. But yeah, don't quote me on that. And oh my god, they're so pretty. And last one here. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a bookmark. Book depository. <gasps> Ooh. Scent of Magic. It is gorgeous. Look at these covers, you guys. All of them together and they match. And oh, so pretty. Oh my god. As I admire these books, they're gorgeous. So that is the first three packages. And then this one is also from the Book Depository, but I guess they put it in the cardboard because it is hardback. I don't remember what I bought, so this is going to be a surprise. And, okay. It's not a hard bag, but it is amazing. Boundless Books won my YouTube giveaway, and she ordered this one. And then when I saw her haul it, I was like, okay, I'm buying it too. This is Patrick 
Rothfuss, The Name of the Wind, and it is a fantasy, and that is all I want to know about it because it is gorgeous, and oh, it's so pretty. The UK covers are really gorgeous sometimes. And then, um, this one, I don't know. This is from Random House, so let me see what it is. Uh, ah. Okay, it's a hardcover. <gasps> Ooh, Stay Where You Are and Then Leave by John Boyne. And this looks like oh, a middle grade and oops, well, there goes the press release. Um, he's the author of The Boy in a Striped Pajamas. Oh my god, I didn't know he had a new book out. And it's so pretty. What is this one about? Um, the Day the First World War Began. Ooh. This is a story about a boy. It's a story about his father, a shoe shine, train journey, a white feather, and it's a story about a secret. So that is a little back there. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a finished copy. Thank you so much, Random House. Oh my gosh. So pretty. And then, okay, so I actually pre-ordered, um, this book that's gonna be coming for me and then I got invited to this uh, special lunch with Lainey Taylor and I'm so excited and then the publisher sent me a copy and I couldn't reply back and say I already ordered it so I decided to give this away to Johanna so this was your copy and okay I'm having trouble all the time I need to get the scissors Can you guess what it is? Yeah. Dreams of gods and monsters. Oh my god, this thing is huge. Holy. How many pages is in this? About 600. So I have a lot of reading to get. So this is Johanna's copy. Thank you, HBG Canada, for sending this in. I am, oh, so pretty. I love these covers. Gorgeous. And then... Two packages from I think this is Random House's packaging and these are unsolicited the other one was also unsolicited this one here this one and okay ooh this is the paperback copy of the Oathbreaker Shadow by Amy McCulloch and to be honest I haven't read this one yet and I had the manuscript but now that I have the paperback I am excited I believe she's Canadian not sure but yeah gorgeous love it and then another one unsolicited I should really take a picture of all the mess that I make here it's really funny <gasps> Ooh, what is this In Incinerator by Neil Leonard and this is the second book to his Crusher series I believe I have it whoops I have it somewhere and it is really simple and I have no idea what this is about but it says fight fire with fire so yeah pretty cool stuff and the back here so yep oh it's pretty I just like feeling the books okay and finally, um, oh, oops, dropped it, too heavy, oh, okay, so this is my Amazon box, and they're my pre-orders, so I think I know what's in it, but I ordered them so long ago, so I don't really remember. Ah. I'm always scared that I will cut or slice my box, so I have to be really careful next time. Ah. <gasps> so pretty. Oh my god, you guys have to see this. Plus one by Elizabeth Fama. This is probably one of my most anticipated reads and it is gorgeous. Look at that photoshopped kiss. And pretty, so pretty. Oh, silhouette. Oh my god. So many books. Oh, it's just so nice. Ah, don't know where to start.
Okay, and then my copy of Dreams of Gods and Monsters came in. And I just had to get this because I wanted to get my order down. Startled by his furry shorts by Louise Re Renaissance. Renison? Renison? And I read like three of these books when I was a teenager and I'm trying to get them all back. So, ah. And this one to make my collection complete is The Bitter Kingdom by Ray Carson. I know the Epic Reads girls have been fangirling over this one so I had to get it. So yeah, that is it for me. I'm pretty sure I forgot some books. I do have library books but those are non-fiction and I'm not sure if you guys will um like 